everyone, welcome to day 12. This is Allison, thanks for joining me. We're gonna be doing a Pilates waist workout where we're laying down on our side, focusing on our hips and our glutes. As always, I'll be providing modifications, so let's get started. So we're gonna be starting the series laying down on our mat. We're gonna start with our legs out just slightly. Your left hand can be on the mat as a kickstand. To make it harder, you can bring your hand up onto your hip. Uh, but how we're gonna get ourselves set up first is we're gonna lift the top leg up and make it a little bit longer than the bottom leg. So you should notice that that creates a little bit of a lift in your rib cage. Depending on your body, you may actually have a full clearance for your hand, or it may just be a little lift depending on your body. So here, I'm gonna keep my hand on the mat and we're gonna start by lifting our leg up and lowering it down. Lifting up and lowering down. You can add a point as you lift and a flex as you lower if that feels good for you. Just do what feels comfortable. And as you're doing this, I want you to notice that it's really a small movement. We're trying to focus on the muscle groups here on the side of the hip. And as you're doing that, you're watching the mate that you're maintaining that little lift of the rib cage. Breathing, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And for this series, it doesn't quite matter as much with the um, breathing, so you can play around with it and see which one feels best for you. We're gonna do three more here. So we're trying to go enough to where we're feeling a little bit of a burn here. And last one. I want you to keep it hovered above the bottom leg. So you're about in parallel. And here we're gonna kick the leg forward and pressing it back. And it's a small range of motion, enough to where you're getting the movement, but that you're not falling forward and you're not falling back with the rib cage. So everything that's moving is from the waist down. For me, I use exhales, I kick forward, inhales, I press back. And again, we're targeting that hip muscle still, but now we're getting the glutes and the front hip flexor muscles activated here. Again, hand can be on the hip to make this a little bit more challenging. I find I'm not able to do as much of a range. So whatever you wanna get out of it is fine by you. On this last one, we're gonna kick it in the back and hold it there. We're gonna do little circles about the size of a basketball. And try and make sure it's a little bit beyond midline. And I started rocking a little bit, so I need to keep my hand connected to the mat two and we're going to go the other direction you should feel a nice burn by now if you don't feel a burn you might be able to go a little bit longer than me four three two and one good bring your legs on top of each other for a second i like to give myself a little massage you can kind of pound it out a little bit whatever feels good for you all right, so here we're gonna keep the knees bent now. We're gonna go into um, clamshell. And again, I want you to think about lengthening that top hip so they're stacked right on top of each other. You've got that lift underneath your rib cage. And you're just gonna lift the leg up towards the ceiling and down, lift and lower. So this is targeting a little bit different of a muscle group. Yes, you'll still feel it here on the side, but now we're trying to target it a little bit more into the glutes. This is targeting that piriformis muscle along with a bunch of other muscles as well. But we're gonna go about five more here. And I'm playing around with the breath. Now I'm exhaling as I lift and inhale as I lower. Last two. And hold it up, last one right here. We're gonna kick the leg up, down, together. Lift, kick, down, together. and I'm not lifting my leg very high. I'm not doing a ha kick. I'm just extending that knee out and bringing it in. Woohoo, feeling that nice burn. Three more. Last two. Okay, last one. Woohoo, yeah, I feel that. Okay, 
So from here, we're gonna go into a side plank. So bring yourself up onto that right elbow. Modification is bending that bottom leg, lifting yourself up. So this is level one. Level two is both feet stacked. So from here, we're gonna do a inhale as you reach the arm over, giving yourself a nice side bend. I'm lifting my hips a little bit up towards the ceiling and then bringing my hand back down by my side. So we're gonna inhale as you lift and exhale as you lower. Watch that this shoulder is not dropping into your ear. You're trying to press the ground away from that elbow. And I'm changing my breath so you can play around with it. Two more. Last one. Good. Bring yourself down. Coming into a Z-sit. So I've got my right leg in front, left leg is in back. Arms are gonna be out to the side. We're gonna exhale as we reach over. Inhale, top. Exhale, reach over for a little stretch to the side. Inhale to lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. One more time. Last one. Okay, switching over to the other side. So now I have my right leg on top, left leg on bottom. Again, the setup, feet are a little bit more forward. Right leg is gonna extend a little bit longer than the bottom. So I create that little space underneath my rib cage. I'm gonna keep my hand here as a kickstand, but you can always bring your hand on your hip. So I'm gonna this time exhale as I lift. Inhale as you lie lower. And again, you're really watching to make sure the hips are staying stacked. It's not a very high kick. You should feel most of the work right here on the side. Keep checking in with that rib cage, making sure it's nice and lifted. And the only thing that's moving is from the waist down. Let's go four more here. Three, two, and on this last one, you're gonna hold it up just a little bit above the bottom leg and you're gonna kick it forward and back. Let's have you exhale as you kick forward, inhale as you kick back. Exhale, inhale. And again, you're really, again, making sure that you're lifting that rib cage. You're going as much range as you can while maintaining this upper body, staying nice and still. And if I bring my hand onto my hip, I have to limit that range a little bit more. So do what you feel comfortable with. Exhale as you kick forward. Inhale as you bring it back. Let's go three more. Two. And last one. Kick it in the back, hold it here. Little circles about the size of a basketball. Really making sure that upper body again is staying as still as you can. Three, two, reverse the direction. Three, two, one. Bring your legs on top of each other. Good. Bend your knees, give yourself a little massage for a moment, and then we're gonna be going into the clamshell. So getting yourself set back up, hips stacked, lifting that rib cage, keep the toes together and lift the right leg up and down. And this isn't a very big range of motion either. I'm exhaling as I lift, inhale as I lower. And you can feel a light engagement in the abdominals. It's not the sole driver of this movement, but they are engaged. So sometimes I like to tap just to kind of feel it 
and remind myself that I'm engaging my core. And then to even make this harder, if you need to make it harder, imagine you've got a band around your thighs and you're really stretching it out and slowly bringing the legs in. You can use a band for this entire series if you need to make it a little bit harder for yourself. For me, I think this is just fine. Last two. And we're gonna hold it up one. You're gonna kick the leg out. Bring it in, lower down. Knee lifts, keep the knee where it's at, just extend the leg, lower and down. Lift, up, bring it in. And I'm already feeling it. Nice burn. Let's try four more. Ooh. Three, helps if you smile through it. Last two, and last one. Good, bring it in. All right, going into the side plank. You can have that modified knee, left knee bent, lifting your hips up. Remember that shoulder is pressing away from the ear. Otherwise, both legs stacked. We're gonna start with, let's exhale as we lift up and over. Inhale as you bring it down. Exhale as you come up and over. Inhale as you come down. And it's just a nice stretch through the side of the body while you're making the shoulders and the obliques working. Obliques are the muscles that help you with rotation in your trunk and side bending. Two more. And last one. Good. Coming down, we're going to go back into that Z-sit. I've got my left leg forward and my right leg back. back. Arms are out long. Inhale. Exhale, reach over. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, reach over. And you're trying to think about keeping that right butt cheek down on the mat. It will lift as you, especially I bend over this way but you can play around with that feeling. Um, so when you try and keep that glute glued to the floor, you'll feel it a little bit more in the lower abdominals there and the hip muscles. Let's do one more each way. And last one. Good. All right. Thank you for joining me today.